made you want to come here? Yeah, I felt like South Carolina really had the family feel I was looking for. Um, on the visit, Coach Beamer had his kids running around. Um, so I knew it was a place where I was going to be taken care of. i got to ask you, there was speculation that maybe that towards the end you weren't going to go to South Carolina. Could you speak towards that? Was there any possible flip-flop thing? Um, I think, you know, the transfer portal is something that um, a lot of people still don't really know how it works. And I think I got caught up in a situation that I shouldn't have been in in the first place. Um, but I think God puts me where I need to be, and I'm exactly where my feet are, and I'm excited to work here at South Carolina. So to piggyback off your first question with that, you know, what, what made South Carolina, like, hey, you know, there could be other opportunities out there, but why South Carolina? I just knew that the situation I was coming into is a situation where I feel like I can thrive. Um, the, the program's heading in a direction where I think we can um, play at a championship level, and that's important to me. I want to be a part of a team that, um, you know, has winning seasons and is playing for championships, and I believe that this is a place where that can happen. Health-wise, how are you feeling? I mean, people know what, what you're capable of doing. You're healthy. How's that been going for no, you? I feel, I feel great. Um, the ankle's been getting better every day. Um, I feel as close to 100% as I have since I last played my last game. So um, it's been great ever since I've been here and just continue to keep working and keep getting better. What can people expect from you? They know that you can go out there and catch, but it seems like you're also a versatile guy that you can also block as well in the run game. Yes, sir. I, I believe I'm a, I'm a three-down tight end. I um, feel like I'm somebody who's, who's going to pop the big plays in the run game and in the pass game. So I'm um, really just a guy who's going to be out there wherever they need me and uh, make plays, whether that's um, with the ball in my hand or without the ball. What's it like been working with Justin Stepp? Obviously a guy that has the background of a wide receiver coach, but now shifting over there. What's that been like working with him? It's been great. Um, coach Stepp is definitely going to develop me as a route runner, which um, I need. And then uh, Coach Yerichek, our assistant tight end guy, um, he played in the league for a couple of years, so he's been big for me in the run game, understanding scheme and things like that. So um, I think them as a one-two punch in that tight end room is going to be uh, great for us, both uh, in the past game and in the run game. Yeah, I mean, you look at their receptions, they were second in the SEC um, behind, I think, Georgia, which obviously they have Brock Bowers. Um, but he's out of there now, so um, I think that, that title is up for grabs. And um, the way Coach Loggins, his pro style offense, is, um, uses tight ends, I just feel like it's a good fit for, for a tight end and exciting, exciting offense to be. Brady, you're joining a room that has some experience in Josh Simon, but also a lot of young guys. What does it mean to, number one, be able to go in with, with an experienced guy like Simon and then also be able to bring up some of these younger guys as well? No, it's, it's been great. Um, obviously, Josh is a special player, freak athlete. Um, being able to kind of learn some things from him um, while still competing with some of those younger guys, nothing's guaranteed here. I understand that. There's a lot of talented guys in our room. So um, it's, been, it's been cool being here with the guys in the tight end room, and I've really enjoyed it.